Rohan, you chased the story to Princeton University, where a bunch of kids are protesting a sit-in at the president's office, upset about the fact that Woodrow Wilson is the name of one of the colleges within the university. What do you got? Yeah, absolutely, guys. Wednesday at Princeton University, members and supporters of student group Black Justice League walked out of class to protest racism that they believe is at their school. They showed up to the office of the university president at Nassau Hall to demand that the name of Woodrow Wilson be stripped off every building program title and a mural in the dining hall uh, be removed. All right, well, I found a big one. Big sign that says Wilson College. The Wilcox Dining Hall is right inside. And uh, I peeked through the windows, and guess what I found? Nice, big Woodrow Wilson mural. Because as they put it, Woodrow Wilson was a racist. They also had a couple other demands. The first is grappling with our uh, university and our country's racist history, uh, which includes uh, slaveholding and the act of exclusion of black people on this campus. Secondly is cultural competency training for professors who are uh, not trained in sensitivity training regarding racial identity. And also to have a dedicated place where the African American students uh, can, can, as they put it, feel safe and loved. Um, Wilson has a long history here. Uh, he was a president of Princeton University from 1902 to 1910, then served as New Jersey's governor uh, from 1911 to 1913, the year that he became the president of the United States. Now, Wilson was a Democrat and was seen as progressive at the time, but he also heavily supported segregation and slaveholding even. Uh, today, there are about 20 members of the BJL were still in the president's office, having slept there overnight, and they refused to leave until their demands are met. And the atrium of Nassau Hall is chock full of students. I want to add that the group is very diverse. Uh, current Princeton president Christopher Eisgruber, behind closed doors, actually agreed that Woodrow Wilson was a racist, but he wanted the students to also understand just how much he did for the University of New Jersey and the United States. But is it appropriate just to erase history, even if it's ugly? What I found interesting is, on one hand, the fight against segregation, because Wilson was absolutely a segregationist. And I think it's somewhat interesting and ironic that on one hand, they want to fight segregation. On the other hand, they want to be segregated. But having said that, he was a racist. He was a bigot. And I think these kids have a great point. He was the one who created the League of Nations that became the United Nations. It's thanks to that president that we have a venue where nations can meet and not meet for war, but meet to possibly find ways to have more peace. How's that so working out? How's that working out today? The How's that working out so well? Wait, can we blame him for that? Then this is an argument that, that's going on all over the country. You know what? It's a healthy one. If you can't get up and, and yell into a megaphone in college, where else can you do it? You know, the school is steeped in very, you know, very white tradition. And there are clubs and dining clubs and eating clubs uh, that, that are very white only. Yeah, but none of those are segregated because the eating clubs keep out certain members of minority groups. That's it. Don't be naive. Don't even begin absurd. to be the naive. The eating clubs. Guys, Michelle Obama went to Princeton. Princeton is arguably one so of the most integrated <laughs> schools in the country. What eating club are making Token the eating clubs in Princeton are elite, and people from all races get rejected. Yeah, so.